All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you book, with my August 2015 update video for, you guessed it, August 2015. Woo. So this is an especially um, momentous uh, month for me, I guess you could say. A lot of stuff going on in both the YouTube land as well as my own personal life. So. Um, as usual with these uh, monthly updates, like I said, I go through the YouTube stuff as well as personal life stuff. And I got all my notes off to the side, as per usual. So uh, here we go. And if I'm a bit louder than normal, it's because I'm a trifle deaf in this ear from last night's concert. So anyway, let's begin. And we'll start off with the YouTube stuff. And speaking of concert, um, I saw We The Kings live at uh, Yokosuka yesterday. Uh, they came on base to do a uh, just kind of like an MWR sort of event and uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I got to meet Charles. Charles Trippy. <laughs> so I've been following Charles since pretty much the beginning of YouTube really. Um, I remember him from a uh, little internet series called Who Wants to Be the Next Internet Millionaire hosted by Joel Com. This was back in shoot, like 2005, 2006-ish. So I'm not quite up to like, you know, following him on MySpace hipster territory, but it's pretty close. And, you know, I've just been a fan of his for the longest time. And, you know, to get to meet him in person was a really good experience. And I thought, you know, the guy's a literal rock star. So, you know, I figured he was going to be all either super, super excited to see me or just be like, yeah, whatever, kid, get lost. But he was a real, you know, down-to-earth guy, and I really appreciate that. And I wish I would have got some video or a picture with him in hindsight, but uh, <clears throat> I, I forgot about the, those things, especially when he's surrounded by a bunch of, you know, prepubescent girls and stuff, so it was kind of awkward. I was just like, yeah, I just want to say hi, you know, been watching your stuff for a while, really like what you do, and that was pretty much it. Oh, he signed my bus pass, too, so I'll let you guys have a look at that real quick. See, he signed my bus pass. It was literally the only thing I had on me at the time. <laughs> I was totally not prepared for like him signing anything, so yeah. So anyway, yeah, the concert went great. Met Charles, good stuff. Um, as far as the release times for the concert and stuff, um, what I'm planning on doing, because I'm actually mixing it at the time of this recording, is um, I'm gonna release it in its entirety as like a whole concert and then uh, I'm also going to release it by song. So if you just want to listen to a particular song or whatever, that's fine, and uh, I'll upload it by song. But that'll be after I release the entire concert. So if you just want to watch the concert in its entirety, you can do that, and you can also watch it song by song. That'll come later. Uh, let's see, next on the list is the Yokosuka Friendship Day fireworks. So, um, <clears throat> this is a bit unplanned. Um, so, literally, as soon as I walked in the door um, after the We The Kings concert, um, just sat my bag down, you know, I took off my shoes, sat my bag down, I heard these loud booms, and I'm like, oh shit, the fireworks! And I totally, like, it slipped my mind, the whole thing with the fireworks festival, because uh, yesterday was also Friendship Day, which is uh, one of the few times out of the year that the uh, Yokosuka Naval Base opens up to the public. So everybody can come in and get a little taste of Americana and whatnot. And um, yeah, it was a real fun event. It gets really crowded in there though, but uh, this year was a little less crowded or at least it was better managed uh, than previous events. So I, I had a good time. Nice, hot, sweaty, good old fun. So anyway, um, as soon as I got home, I heard the fireworks. I had to like quickly set up everything and I didn't get my camera time enough to charge. So I'm like, oh god, this thing's gonna die. So I get it all set up on the tripod, uh, recording fireworks and stuff, and I took a couple pictures on my camera, but I'm really not that good at taking pictures of fireworks, so there might only be like two or three, you know, usable shots. But, you know, I was also busy taking pictures of the moon, which uh, was a nice blood red that particular night, so a lot of those pictures are gonna be up on Instagram. And uh, for those of you who aren't following me in on Instagram, it's uh, instagram.com slash theandysan. So, sure to follow for cool pictures and whatnot. So, uh, next on the list is my Yokosuka beer review. Uh, at the time of this recording, it's all finished up, ready to go, and it should be uploaded this week. So, in the beer review, it was just kind of like a one-off. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep on doing it, 
you know, especially since I'm going to be moving back to the States, but there's a big uh, burgeoning craft beer scene out there, so it may be a recurring thing. I don't know quite yet, but uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. You know, give me some tips because this is a fairly new uh, territory for me, the whole, you know, let's eat, let's drink kind of thing. So if you guys have any tips or, you know, you want to see a particular uh, food or beer or something like that when I'm back in the States, you know, be sure to uh, let me know in the comments below down in the boop -de boop or send me a personal message. As I always say, I read all the comments and I read all the personal messages. So anyway, like I said, the Yokosuka Beer Review um, episode will be out uh, sometime this week, uh, probably early this week actually, and uh, so look forward to that. Next up is uh, Yokosuka Port Market. So it's a it's a, uh, a really good video. Uh, it's still currently in the editing process. I got some B-roll and stuff I want to incorporate. And uh, those of you who've been following me for a long time, you know that I'm not really <laughs> all that familiar with using B-roll footage. So I may or may not use it, but I do have it. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, this is going to be a slightly newer uh, editing style than what I'm usually used to, which is you know clip, 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 that sort of thing. But uh, look forward to it. It'll be out either this week or next. And uh, next up on the list is Sarashima, also known as Monkey Island. So once again, for those of you who follow me on Instagram, instagram.com slash theandysan, got to plug that, <laughs> you'll know that uh, a lot of my pictures are of Sarashima, which is an island uh, about a kilometer or so away from uh, mainland uh, Yokosuka. So... Um, I take a lot of pictures of it just because I think it's really cool looking and stuff. And uh, this video was the first time I actually went to the island. Um, for one reason or another, I just never really got around to visiting the island. And uh, it was a lot of fun. It was actually an old um, military battery. Military forces would be stationed out there, you know, during you know World War II and even much earlier than that. And uh, they would basically, it would basically be like a frontline defense for, you know, incoming ships before they get to the mainland. So um, it was really cool to see all the old uh, military uh, relics and stuff from days past. So definitely look forward to that video. And it'll be kind of an homage to uh, one of my YouTube inspirations, Kurt Bell, also known as Saki Papa. So, you know, stay tuned for that. <laughs> Uh, let's see, next up is my Yokosuka Daytime Tour. So, um, when I first got my GoPro, I did uh, a Yokosuka Nighttime Tour, more accurately described as a like an afternoon to night tour, just because the sun set pretty quickly. So, um, I'm going to be doing a, uh, a slightly different variation of that tour, but it is kind of a long video, so it most likely won't be released until you know later in the month, depending on free time and whatnot, which we'll get to here in a sec. And also, um, I'm going to be, when I get back to the States, I'm going to be releasing some old lost footage of uh, my time here in Japan. So I've recorded a couple um, basic rough layouts for episodes and stuff like that. And it's basically just stuff I never got around to editing or just episodes that I thought were just kind of so-so or whatever. So um, that'll be coming out once I get back to the States, among other things and uh, stuff like that. So next on the list is First Impact Anime. So um, First Impact Anime as well as my Let's Play channel Andy Cade uh, will be on hiatus until I move back to the States and get myself all settled up in uh, Michigan. So um, apologies for the delays and whatnot for that but there's been a lot of uh, stuff going on in my personal life so I haven't really had the time to get around to editing those episodes and whatnot. So, um, once again, sorry about that, and look forward to uh, future episodes. So, with that said, um, now that we've finished up all the youtube -y stuff, let's get into uh, some personal life stuff. So, um, lots to talk about here, actually, like almost over <laughs> almost 11 minutes in at the time of uh, uh, this uh, raw capture here. So, um, as of today, uh, August 2nd, 2015, I have five days left in the United States Navy and uh, Japan as well. So, I'm going to be uh, exiting the United States Navy on August 7th, 2015, which is also the day that I'm going to be moving back to the States. 
So um, I'm really nervous about the whole thing because it's going to be a major, uh, major culture shift for me because I've been in the the uh, U.S. Navy for over five years now, and uh, it's going to be a bit of a shift for me to not just you know go back to the states to visit, but to live there again, and not as a member of the Navy as a civilian again. So uh, it's going to be a major. Major shift for me, I'm not going to be getting that sweet Navy paycheck, um, so I'll have to uh, budget accordingly, so I'll go back to being a poor college student. Um, so that's going to be a, a major culture shift for me. But um, I'm really nervous about it, but I'm also really excited and really looking forward to uh, the new chapter in my life and uh, stuff like that. So um, now, I know that there's a lot of uh, people out there who watch me for my Japan videos, and you know, that's fine. But what happens to a lot of uh, YouTubers when they come out to Japan is, you know, they tend to, you know, make a YouTube channel and be like, oh my god, I'm going to Japan, it's great, yeah! <laughs> and then they get out here and they, you know, make a lot of videos and do a lot of good things, and then the, the problem is when they get back to their home country, is that you know they often do like the post Japan video which is maybe like one or two videos of like oh I'm sad I'm back in my home country I'm not in Japan anymore life sucks Brr. and then they just stop making videos and it's kind of sad that that happens but it does happen for one reason or another but you know you guys don't have to worry about me I'm not going anywhere I'm really looking forward to making more videos back in the states you know of my area in not only my hometown of Salina, Ohio, but also up in Kalamazoo, Michigan, where I'm going to be going to college at for uh, computer information systems will be my major up at Western Michigan University. So um, it's going to be a lot of fun. There's definitely a lot to see out in Kalamazoo. And I hope you guys uh, tune in to my future adventures out there and stuff like that. And I'm also kind of planning on some other surprises further down the line, so uh, <laughs> look forward to that as well. So, um, before I get too rambly and stuff, um, this will probably be, actually it probably won't, <laughs> this will be uh, my last uh, update video here in uh, Japan, my last monthly update video anyway. Um, I'll keep you guys posted, you know, as I'm moving and stuff like that, and there will be the the big goodbye Japan video and stuff like that. But uh, as far as like my regular monthly update videos, this will be my last one in Japan. So kind of an end of an era, as it were. And also be my last one as a member of the United States Navy. So again, end of an era. But um, it's also the beginning of a new era, the beginning of a new chapter in my life. So um, once again, I look forward to you guys uh, sticking with me as I continue on my adventure in life. And before I get too rambly and too uh, sentimental and uh, all that stuff, better sign off. So yeah, this is the Andy San. Sign it for now. Thanking you guys, boo, once again for uh, watching this video and watching my other stuff. And uh, I also want to thank you guys for liking, the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party. And hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later guys, bye.